5 Disgusting Carry-On Plants When spring is in full swing, there's no way you can deny how amazing and beautiful nature looks. The trees grow fresh, new, green leaves, and with them come a vast array of beautiful flowers. However, with this list, we're not looking at the most beautiful plants and flowers the world has to offer. Instead, we'll be looking at carrion plants. And for those of you who aren't quite acquainted with the word carrion, it essentially means rotting or decomposing flesh. And so, carrion flowers tend to smell like a pile of rotten flesh. This smell is not used to ward off potential predators, but is instead used to attract any nearby insects with its disgusting aroma. The insects are not used or consumed by the flower for nutrients, but rather, like with most flowers, they help to pollinate the flower. It must be said, however, that these plants do not attract all insects, like butterflies and bees, but only insects that are actually attracted to carrion, with the main bugs being carrion beetles and a variety of flies. These putrid but fascinating flowers differ from one another in amazing ways, and it is some of those that we will look at today. Bye. California Dutchman's Pipe The California Dutchman's Pipe, also known as Aristolochia californica or the California Pipe Vine, is a broad-leafed vine with purple-striped curving pipe-shaped flowers, which give rise to winged capsular green fruits. These plants have a strong, unpleasant aroma that attracts carrion-feeding insects. These insects crawl into the convoluted flower and get disoriented, and this causes the insects to wander around inside the flower for a longer period of time, picking up pollen until they eventually find their way back out. The main insect attracted to this plant are fungus gnats, who commonly fall for the Dutchman pipe's deceit, as they gain absolutely nothing from the flower. Even though this plant essentially gives nothing back to its pollinators, it has been the saving grace of the pipe vine swallowtail butterfly by being its only food source. Along with the pipe vine swallowtail butterfly, red-spotted black caterpillars also feed off of this plant, as its main food source is its leaves, which makes them unpalatable to other predators. They then also use the flowers as a safe and closed space to undergo metamorphosis. 4. Eastern Skunk Cabbage To be fair, if your name is Skunk Cabbage, odds are you're going to absolutely reek. The skunk cabbage, or Simplocarpus fotidus, is a low-growing and, as you'd probably expect from its name, foul-smelling plant that is commonly found in wetlands. It can be found naturally in northern and eastern North America and can even be found in many parts of Asia. The skunk cabbage has large, broad leaves and produces 10 to 15 centimeter flowers with a mottled purple color. This plant does produce a rotting, fetid smell that is most pungent when a leaf is torn. The reason for this smell is to attract pollinators such as flies and beetles. Another interesting fact about this plant is that it is one of the very few plants that exhibits thermogenesis. This means that it can generate heat, and in this case, the temperatures can reach 15 to 35 degrees Celsius, which allows the plant to melt its way through frozen ground, and the flowers can bloom while there is still snow. This is also used as a way to attract any nearby insects that are hiding from the cold and helps to evaporate and disperse their smell. 3. Dracunculus vulgaris Also known by its various other names, and trust us, there's a lot of them, such as Dragon Arum, Black Arum, Snake Lily, Stink Lily, Black Dragon, Dragon Wart, and Dracondia. The Dracunculus vulgaris is a carrion flower that is native to the Balkans, Mediterranean, Europe, and Anatolia. Only recently has it been introduced to the United States, where it has thrived. This is an absolutely amazing plant that has the most stunning flower growing off of it, which is made up of a spadix that can grow up to 120 centimeters. The spadix is initially enveloped by the spathe, which is a dark purple to black color. The spathe unfolds to reveal the almost black spadix, which releases a strong scent of carrion for about a day, in which time the sexual organs are ripe and insects attracted to the smell will distribute the pollen. 2. Rafflesia arnaldi 
most commonly known as the corpse flower, along with the plant in our number one spot, the Rafflesia arnoldi is the largest individual flower in the world and is an endemic plant that can be found in the rainforest of Bengkulu, Indonesia, Sumatra Island, and Malaysia. There are several different variants of the Rafflesia in these areas, however, the Arnoldi is the largest as they can grow up to 1 meter or 3 feet in diameter and can weigh up to 11 kilograms. It lives as a parasite on the tetrastigma vine, which grows only in primary and untouched rainforests. Rafflesia lacks any observable leaves, stems, or even roots, yet it is still considered a vascular plant. A lot similar to fungi, individuals grow as thread-like strands of tissue completely embedded within and in intimate contact with surrounding host cells, from which nutrients and water are obtained. What's strange about this plant is that it produces no leaves, roots, or even stems and does not have chlorophyll. The only time this plant can be seen is when it is ready to reproduce. Perhaps the only part of Raphalesia that is identifiable as distinctly plant-like are the flowers, although even these are unusual, since they attain massive proportions, have a reddish-brown coloration, and stink of rotting flesh, which is why it was nicknamed the corpse flower. This scent attracts insects such as flies, which then pollinate the rare plant. Although very similar, it should not be confused with the next plant on our list. 1. Amorphophallus titanium Also known as the corpse flower, the Amorphophallus titanium is what can be described as an enormous misshapen phallus that sits directly in the middle of the flower and is commonly known as the titan arum. Amorphophallus titanium, which is directly translated from Greek literally as misshapen penis giant, is a flowering plant with the largest unbranched inflorescence in the world, and it is endemic to Sumatra. The Titan Arum's inflorescence can reach over 3 meters, or 10 feet, in height. Like the related cuckoo pint and calio lily, it consists of a fragrant spadix of flowers wrapped by a spathe, which looks like a single petal. In the case of the Titan Arum, the spathe is green on the outside and dark burgundy red on the inside and deeply furrowed. The best way to describe the spadix portion of this flower is that it is hollow and resembles a French baguette. The upper, visible portion of the spadix is covered in pollen, while its lower extremity is spangled with bright red-orange carpels. The fragrance lingering off of this plant, if you can even call it that, pretty much resembles rotting meat, attracting carrion-eating beetles and flesh flies that pollinate it. This flower is a deep red color, and the texture of it resembles spathe in a piece of meat. During the bloom, the tip of the spadex is approximately human body temperature, which helps the perfume volatilize. This heat is also believed to assist in the illusion that attracts carcass-eating insects.